that I, that is now. So there won't be any secrets. You'll be all convinced you should be doing more radials. So um, uh, here's the my disclosures, uh, mostly, but they don't have much relationship with the radial itself. So radial access associated with lower CTOPCI success rate. There was a study from a Japanese group, and actually they, they showed that in JCTO score over three, they had somewhat lower success rate. But the problem is when you compare the, the two groups that were really different, when the big, they, they, the, the three and over, they were using more, uh, the, it's more a, the femoral, they were using more seven and an eight French, and the radials they were using six French. It's not really a access side comparison. It's a, it's a big guide versus small guide comparison. It was non-randomized. It had lower success rate than current standards, even from the femoral axis. And it proves that there's always a prospective selection of cases to be either done by the femoral or the radial. It's, that's a natural experiment. And I was asked to give an editorial comment, and they asked me, is that, or should we be doing radial femoral for a CTO PCI? And the answer is both. You got to be proficient in doing both access and understand the limitation, and that's what I'm going to walk you through today. So why considering the radial for CTO PCI is that because radial approach reduces vascular and bleeding complication. And, and in my experience, and when I started, I could not afford a major bleeding complication in a ra what they call in, uh, on Twitter, a radial first center as I was. So it just was not part of the game. And we need, there's frequent need for multiple access, chip, LV support. This PVD with li limited femoral uh, access will be uh, an issue. Experienced uh, radial operator can get away with uh, uh, with the angioplasty through smaller gear, and also, you, but you need to understand the limitation of six French and seven French, and some of the limitation is out doing simple stuff. And one of the simple stuff is strapping balloon technique. And in the old days, now with the trapper and other device, it was difficult to trap, let's say, a Corsair and a six French. It was tight fit. You would you could not trap a a a stingray balloon in the six French. It was not possible, and it's still not possible with a regular balloon for trapping. So there has been new innovation in complex for complex transradial. First of all, the slender sheets from Turumo, they're very nice. They're they're basically you can fit the seven French into a six French sheet. So basically it's the outer diameter of a six French, inner diameter of a seven French. How they made it? They made it it's, it's a thin wall sheet. Uh, you can use some sheetless technique, and I'll show you how to do it. There's also the trap liner now that will help a lot in doing um, some of the stuff we used to do in big gear through smaller gear. What's the trap liner? It's a gun extension. It's the guy liner, but it's got a balloon on it, and it's, an, it, it's integrated in the shaft of, your, of the guy liner in itself. It's the same guy liner V3. It's got the coaxial alignment, state, uh, distal uh, device delivery, and it's offered in six, seven, eight French. So with this trap liner, you can actually trap all devices, even in six French. You can do, you can trap a, a stingray. You can, it, there's a lot of things. It, it makes ADR possible if, even through six French. You uh, readily have an inflow occluder for ADR. You um, you can uh, you are you are readily available to increase your support. You can do power anchoring by blowing your balloon, so therefore your micro catheter don't move anymore. There's a lot of things you can do with that catheter. It can be used retrograde to improve support and ease exchange, and it can be used to do reverse card. And actually, if you're you can use the balloon actively to trap your retrograde balloon your retrograde wire when you hit the guy liner. So there's a lot of things that once you have it, you become very, um, it's very interesting on how to use it. But we know eight French for CTO PCI is the norm. Eight French gives better support than seven and six. Allows for all techniques and with all device, crossbar, stingray, IVIS guided puncture. It usually requires the femoral approach, but because there's very few patients can afford the eight French sheet. So, can we put large catheters from the radial? There's been company working on it. First is, is a, is a SAI with the UCATH. 
I've tried a lot to like them, and I could not. They're expensive. They're only 7.5 French, so the inner diameter is a 7 French. They, they're hydrophilic, and they're hydrophilic to the tip. So they rock themselves out of the coronary just with beating heart. They're very slippery. You don't give support at all, and you risk trauma, osteotrauma. I've had left main dissection with that, and I've stopped using it. They're very stiff, and unless you, and I will show you an alternative that are actually safer and cheaper. So, but you need to understand the relationship of a cath, a catheter, and a sheath. So basically, a six French sheath is exactly, if you look at the outer diameter of a six French sheath, it's exactly the outer diameter of an eight French guide. So the inside of the sheet, the outer diameter of a six French dilator will be exactly the inner diameter of your eight French guide. So therefore, what I managed to find is a long dilator that would that I would stick into my guide to make my guide delivered without a sheet. So that was that what we published last year, so our experience with the transradial eight French technique, sort of an old main technique. You can use two types of, of, of transition. You can use a slip cat. It's been taken out of the market for a while by Cook. It's a carotid a catheter. It's 125 centimeter. It provides a beautiful transition for, uh, with, the guide, with the guide catheter to, and then you have an 035 that's in the radial. And, uh, or you use the, uh, the dilator of a cook flexor sheet. So you take the cook flexor sheet, but the only thing you'll be using of the cook flexor sheet is the dilator. It's 110, so therefore it's longer than your 90 centimeter or your 100 centimeter guide. And then you stick it in your eight French guide, and boom, that's it. That's the only thing you need. So you have a very nice transition at the tip. So then you stick your radial with your six French sheet. You get an eight French in, you take your sheet out, and then you, you take that in. And that's the only thing you need to do. And we've, we've published a comparison of the, the guys with it, the patient with it, with sheet less and no sheet less. So you see we had about 120 patients in each group. Obviously, we did more males, uh, so less females with the sheet less technique, because in that time, we thought it'd be avoiding using uh, the, the French and female. So with the, uh, we did a lot of dual access, dual radial access in the sheetless technique, 71%. And all the cases had an integrate guide that were 100% 100, uh, 100 at the 8 French, obviously. We did this more dissection reentry in the sheet less, and technical success was quite high in the two groups. But it didn't affect air kerma and everything, so we, we, were, we could be successful. In terms of major complication, we had none. Um, with, the, with that technique, no form in mentoma. We had some radial in mentoma, but they were all uh, of, uh, of uh, easy class three and less, so pretty benign. And when you look at radial occlusion, it's a subgroup of 28 patients that, had their own, that, that, that are their own control. They had a six French sheet on one side and they had the eight French sheet less on the other side. When we look at six months, that's not even that discharge, six months, we had a 7.1 occlusion rate. So two occlusion on one side, one on the other side. So, we, so we're not shutting down all the radials in the world because we put that, not at all. So um, it seems to be safe, but I need to teach you also when radial is not appropriate, because sometimes it is not. If you have a high likelihood to do an EDR and you have a small radial, well, I would say that with slander sheets now and the trap liner, you probably can get away with seven French or six French, even in small radial. So this argument is, is evolving and not even uh, like very pertinent. Carotid occlusion with ipsilateral collateral flow from the vertebral artery. First, you have to know, but because of the, brain, the risk of brain injury and indwelling catheter in there, uh, I, if I know it, I will not use a radial. Uh, however, it's not really evidence-based, but it's like common sense. But osteo-RCA disease without appropriate landing zone of the guide, this is experience-based. And I'll show you why I've completely abandoned the, ra the radial approach for osteo-RCA. So you need a good, so you see in that case, you've got a, a femoral guide in the RCA. And this RCA, it doesn't, it doesn't move, it's quite, it's quite stable. But with breeding, if you're from the radial, you can look at the, uh, the tip of the catheter tipping down, tipping up. It's just the nature of how, where it's coming from. 
So if you don't have that landing zone for the guide, the guide may disengage just with breathing. So here's a, 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 just a picture of that. You're breathing with a femoral axis. You have a catheter. You breathe in. The diaphragm, everything goes together, comes back up. But if you're from the radio and the patient breathes in, that's it. So that's a problem. It doesn't move in, in sync with your diaphragm, and therefore you may lose your, 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 your few millimeters of coronary catheter you, you, you already have in your osseum. So don't, for osseal rights, use the femoral. So tips and tricks, you need good transradial non-CTO experience. I've started doing radial in 98. So you don't start doing that if you don't have experience in non-CTO PCI. Right radial for left guide, left radial for right. Because no matter where is the CTO, because the right radial for a left main is quite good. Left radial for a left main is not good support. Keep it simple. XB35, AL75, 6 French retrograde, usually fine, as a, as a um, um, Cal's said to us. Rotating divide need less support in my experience. 7 French integrate, 8 French sheetless, and never use 5 French. It's not the, the space for CTO PCI at all. And when radial, so... When you, can, when you want to avoid bleeding complication, you can do it. Why not? When you need two, more than two accesses, and when you need one femoral access for chip. This a first example, the dual LED. Go back? Okay. So you need to go back to the live? Okay, good. So uh, dual radio, we've got six French retrograde. We've got an eight French anti-grade sheetless. Uh, we attempted anti-grade, got submittable. It, the distal caps at the bifurcation. We got retrograde very easily, and, uh, and all the gears could cross. We have a guy liner here. We, could, did, we did guy liner reverse card crossed, and that was done with dual radial. So we can do uh, still complex stuff, and if you want, to, uh, I could show the two other uh, examples later, but if you, you want, I can uh, simply conclude that, uh, or if you want to come back, what, what you want to do? Okay, okay, good. Great. All right, well, thank you very much again. That was a great presentation. Okay, so they were calling us from the, uh, from the lab back there. So we're going to stay in the same theme. So uh, when you need two accesses because of a complex PCI, that's another reason why you're going to use radial. Uh, here's is a sort of an extreme case where you... Uh, you're sort of asking yourself, is the, the RC, the distal RC, is a single or is two CTO? So we, we, the issue was... I was wondering if the PL and the PD would connect. So I needed triple axis, and because there were collaterals coming from an SVG to a diagonal, and a Lima to the LED, and from the circ to the, to, 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 uh, with epicardial, I needed to fill all the sources. So therefore I have three axes in that case. And with the injection, so two radials, one femoral, and then I realized that this was a CTO. Actually, the PL is another CTO. They don't connect each other. By, but the only way you can actually assess that is by completely filling all the sources of collateral. And in that case, we basically uh, went from the SVG in the diagonal. The SVG is from the radial. And uh, we got retrograde uh, into uh, the PDA with the surfing technique. And in that case, we did, uh, so we're from the radio. We still have the guide in the left because it provides some collateral to the PL, so to better understand. So I did some tip injection. And then uh, in that case, I, uh, I had difficulty to start the dissection, and I did the contrast-induced dissection, what we also call a Carlino. And now you see I have an 8 French guide integrate because it's such a short CTO and for the same, and this guide is coming from the leg. So... I have my radial in the left. I have my other radial, left radial into the SVG. But from the leg, because I don't need my Lima anymore, that I have an IMA 8 French into uh, my right. And then we did some uh, dissection entry. So that's a knuckle going up. Sometimes knuckle go up quite easy. And uh, basically, uh, we were able to, uh, to uh, cross everything and, and reopen the right. Uh, that was quite big with the uh, PL and PDA. Uh, when you need one femoral for chip, so you've seen cases, guy was uh, referred to us because he was turned down by surgery, F25 porcelain aorta. Uh, and then, uh, so that's a, we've got uh, the, the, the impella in, and we've got 2.7 French, 
they're through slanders. So, and we have a CT of the right, pretty disease LED, subocluded LED, and a circ that's all calcified. And uh, so you'll see again this critical LED lesion uh, with slow flow. So because I needed to do rota, and we saw the, the value of having uh, uh, impella for that for those cases. So it's all been done for, through seven French. Did that, got retrograde during the same procedure because we attempted to integrate with not cross. And finally, uh, we were able to do a true to true crossing retrograde, got into a guy liner, finally opened up the right, and then finished up the work on the LED. And then uh, we say like, uh, okay, it's too complex, finish the, the circ, but the, if you have one reason, one lesion that doesn't crack, there's got to be another one in this coronary tree that won't crack anymore. So we have Rhoda. We finished up with Rhoda. And finally, this is done. So this guy had one femoral axis and two radials. There were seven French. So that's feasible, even in chip. So the conclusion is transradial is essential skill to master for complex PCI. And I think with the current tools, slender sheets, mother and child support, the sheetless technique I've taught to you, large catheters can be used. Uh, from the radial artery. And that's my in perspective, that's there's too many bilateral femoral approach. And one good friend, Dimitri Karmpoliotis, is like switched on most uh, entirely to bilateral radial. And that was driven by experience and fear of bleeding. And when you're under the scope of uh, observation and you want to avoid that poss poss possibly, and you know, skill operator can get away without sticking as much groins. And I think we don't need to be dogmatic on the other side. Femoral access remains necessary in many patients, and I told you when it's not ideal. And even in non-CTO PCI, I tend not to tackle osteal RCA with, uh, with, with, from the radial approach. So thank you very much for your attention. So this is, this is, this is, a, this is, this is there's no US, uh, there's a U.S. Uh, buy U.S. first, right? <laughs>